we're going to do a video about Word. Now, I want to talk to you about indexes and how to generate them automatically uh, in Word. Now, automatic, I kind of want to use that term loosely because we still do have to do a bit of work, uh, but the actual generation of the index we can get Word to do. So, this video I want to talk about marking entries to be included in an index. So, as an example, I'm on a page of my document here and I'd like to select a word. Don't forget shift, you can extend selections. I like that little trick. Um, anyway, you select the word and now you need to mark it to be included in the index. So two ways. First way is if you go over to the references tab and under the index section on the references tab, there's a button there that says mark entry. You can click that. And that's gonna pop up your mark index entry uh, dialog box. The alternative is to use a keyboard shortcut and the keyboard shortcut is alt shift X. Now. If you are going to be doing this in your documents, I would suggest getting used to that keyboard shortcut. I know it's three keys, so it's a bit of a pain in the butt. However, I think, you know, it's going to save you some time instead of having to go to references every time. So Alt Shift X pops up the uh, mark index entry button. So then you have the main entry that you want included in your index. You can en enter in a sub entry. So that could be manually typed in. You could also just cut and paste. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, of course, anything you type in, make sure it exists in your index. A sub-entry, what it will look like is in your index, it will be underneath the main entry and slightly indented. That would be a sub-entry. Currently, I have it set to mark the current page. So in my index, it's going to say layout options are on page one. Uh, I can do a page range using bookmarks that I might have set up uh, throughout the document. In this document, I don't have any bookmarks set up, so it wouldn't be an option there. And I can also do a cross-reference. And the key with a cross-reference is I'm pointing it somewhere else in my index. You got to make sure that where you're pointing it is also marked, because uh, then otherwise they're really not going to make a lot of sense. So in this particular example, I am going to do the current page for the word layout options. And the page number format, I'm not going to make it bold. I'm not going to make it italic. And then if I click mark all, it will search the entire document for any instances of that word, in this case, that series of words. Uh, or I can say mark, and that will just mark the one. Now, this dialog box does stay open, and you'll notice something in the background right away. As soon as I hit mark, it puts uh, the item next to the, the one I just marked. And then the issue that comes up is the fact that I'm now showing non-printed characters. If you want to turn that off, that's just the home tab and that's that show non-printed characters button. Don't forget we can use that to turn it on and off. So this isn't a bad thing. Uh, when I'm doing an index, I usually just leave it on. So I could highlight another word, come back to my dialog box and you saw as soon as I highlighted a word and came back here, it automatically switched it uh, for the main entry. So I could do a sub entry here. Let's do a sub entry of layout and I'm going to mark the current page as well. There we go. Close. And you can walk through the document and do that. So again, let's just say I'm going to do reading view here. Alt Shift X pops it up. Reading view. Current page. Good. Mark. Close. So that's the extent of it. You want to go through and you have to mark the entries that you want to show up in your index. Now, I realize that that is a bit of work uh, up front, but whenever you're creating an index, it's going to be work. And the idea is if I use these tools, I can automatically generate the index at the end. Now, for generation of the index, I'm going to talk about that in the last video this week tomorrow, so be sure to check that one out.